Ooh, hey everyone, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Singles coming to you live, live from uh, Vietnam, guys. And uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening to wherever you are, guys. And hopefully you guys are having a great day, a wonderful day wherever you guys are. It looks like the crypto markets are turning, guys, turning, uh, you know, positive. Right now, as I'm looking at the markets, it's kind of neutral right now. We're seeing a little, a little bit of negativity, negativity in the house. But uh, overall, everything is looking okay, guys. And I think that, uh, you know, things will turn to the upside very soon guys and remember this video is not financial advice this video is only for education and entertainment purposes in the house guys so guys and gals we're seeing that uh, Shiba on the Kraken news is a uh, pump guys so hopefully uh, Shiba Inu can uh, maintain this pump and keep on keep on on and hopefully we can get up uh, past the five zero level so that would be really good and hopefully that uh, Doge will also start to uh, make some moves guys and we can get ourselves up to 25 cents soon we're also seeing Ethereum is uh, point, painting a pretty uh, good signal. It's flashing a huge signal, a huge, uh, you know, upward uh, trend is uh, incoming for Ethereum pretty soon. And guys and gals, do not panic. This is not the end of the bull run. This is just the beginning. And we're going to see that December is going to go absolutely crazy. I mean, it could al almost go parabolic in the house, guys. I really think we could see some really parabolic moves going. And... What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments, guys. And, uh, you know, do not panic. Do not do not panic at all, guys. And you still have a good chance to be buying the dippy dips. This is still a good time to dollar cost average. And there's some, definitely some old coins that are worth looking at. We're seeing sand is uh, down a little bit from its all-time highs. Uh, you know, I still think gaming and metaverse is really a good opportunity long-term. Remember, once again, not financial advice. You just got to do your own research. Turn on two-factor authentication. And I'm just at the beach right now, guys. I'm at the beach, and uh, yeah, it's late late afternoon now. So I thought I'd just, uh, you know, film and let you guys know where we are. It looks like we could get some rain here uh, overall, but it's still looking pretty good. It's still around about 27 degrees here in Da Nang, Vietnam. Da Nang me, Da Nang me. You know, it's a great time. Good morning from Vietnam, guys. So, guys, hop on board the, the OG train, the crazy train, the Ric Flair of crypto. Woo! In the house. You guys know you want it. I love it. You love it. And guys, don't forget to uh, check out my merch. Get some merch, guys. Gear up with the OG gear. You know that Christmas is coming. So what would be a better gift than the OG gear in the house? You know you want it. I want it, guys. So it's a great time to All be right, alive. Guys, let's jump into it without any further delay. Let's get into the, uh, the content right now. Let's get into the content, guys. And uh, as you can see right now, we can see that the pre-markets are uh, not looking so good right now. So this is probably indicative that we're probably going to see uh, when the Americas open up. We could probably see that the crypto, the whole cryptos could go down. We're seeing the Dow futures is down uh, over 1%. We're seeing S&P is down 1%. And NASDAQ futures are down all, uh, or 0.66%. So this could be indicative that we could be expecting a pretty uh, red day. And we're seeing right now from the market, uh, market cap perspective, we're seeing that right now the market cap right now is is almost at zero at 2.7 so it's a, a kind of a neutral so you know is it going to be a green dino day or is it going to be a red bear day guys we don't know at this point so you know we're right right on the cusp right now so everything is looking pretty neutral in the house guys if we take a look at the fear and greed index right now the fear and greed index is up from yesterday we are still in a fear zone fear zone and uh you know i'm not fearful i mean i know that uh you know that we're going to see the market's are going to come back, but we do have one Debbie Downer event. We have uh, Jerome Powell, who's been uh, who's been basically given uh, extension, uh, and uh, and he's going to be serving a second term. So you know, uh, you know, basically Jer Jerome Powell, he's a uh, you know he's a uh, he loves banks, and you know he's one of these old banking guys. So this really could be a little bit scary. This could be could could put the kibosh on crypto because Jeremy he doesn't like crypto. He did, he said we're not going to ban crypto. But uh, billionaire investor uh, Mike is saying that he's cautioned, he's cautioned that the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell could slow down crypto, could slow down crypto uh, and the crypto market in his second term in office, uh, commenting that his renumeration uh, means that you know he's he's a central banker guy and he's going to protect uh, he's going to protect uh, the people who put the current government in power and that's the banks guys. So this is not this is not good news and this is a, another reason why we're probably going to see. Uh, the, the, another reason why we're seeing that most of the futures are down right now. So the crypto is probably going to go down and, and now. So this could be, uh, you know, overall a bit of a Debbie Downer event. So 
So I don't know. It's going to be a green di dino day uh, when you guys watch this video. Or are we going to go down, de -de 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 down, down? So let's see, guys, how it, how it materializes in the house, guys. So, you know, Jeremy Powell, the Fed, looks like they could be putting the kibosh on in cryptocurrency. Let's take a look at Shiba Inu in the house right now. Let me get my face out of the way. So you can see here that Shiba Inu is... Uh, you know, form this huge descending wedge or descending in triangle, depending on what uh, part of the pond you're from. And, uh, you know, overall, this is typically a very bullish signal. Uh, right now, we have broken out of this uh, descending wedge, and we've done a pretty good to break out to the upside. And, you know, from the base of this wedge to where we are now, we can see that uh, Shiba Inu has broken up quite considerably. And uh, so I wouldn't be too worried in the house about it. So let's just measure that from the from the base of that to here. We can see that we're up almost right now. We're up almost 29% uh, in the house. So where do I see Shiba Inu going? And you can see that Shiba Inu retested the 51, 52 level. And right now Shiba Inu is uh, collapsed down a little bit uh, and is now at the 48 level. So from there to where we see now, we can see that from the top of that uh, resistance line at 50, around 52 to where we are now, we've uh, come back down another 7%. So overall Shiba Inu right now is still positive. It's still in positive territory. But remember, you have to understand that crypto is a zero-sum game. There's always got to be losers, and there's always going to be winners, right? And typically, in, in the crypto game, there's uh, more more losers than winners. That's just common sense, guys. And uh, so, you know, would I be buying uh, Shiba Inu right now? I would be waiting because I really believe that we're probably going to see Shiba Inu right now. It's probably going to collapse back down to this area, and this is going to hold us good support around about 42, 43 area. So I would be waiting uh, for that area. I would probably put in a you know a buy order here, and then I would be putting a buy order in at uh, 33. So those would be my two strike zones, and then I would be holding that. Uh, because when a Bitcoin blasts off and Dogecoin blasts off and the cryptocurrency markets blasts off, then we could hopefully see that we could see Shiba Inu retesting all-time highs. So that's where I would put. I would. I would not definitely. I would not be buying anything. I would not be buying anything in this zone, guys. I would be. I would be waiting till Shiba Inu gets down here before I'd be buying anything. So that's just what I'm doing. You know, you guys remember this is not financial advice. You guys do got to do what uh, feels right for you. And you know, if you if you had you know if you had bought in this area here, uh, and you sold here, you would be breaking even. So if you sold at the top here, you'd be making a little bit of profit. But if you guys bought anywhere, anywhere above this line here. You know, the majority of you are, are uh, you know, out of profit right now and holding a bag of coins that's underwater. And remember, you have never lost anything to actually sell the coins, guys. So, you know, and also, but Shiba Inu has had a pretty good day. Had, uh, you know, went up almost 30, 35% today. And as you all know, that happened That happened because, you know, Kraken Exchange defies uh, competitors' regulatory concerns and starts listing Shiba Inu. So a lot of the uh, other centralized exchanges are not listing Shiba Inu because there's some regulatory concerns. Uh, those regulatory concerns have really not uh, been come to light yet, but there are concerns out there. And we're seeing that mainstream Shiba, mainstream uh, media is picking up the Shiba Inu uh, price pump. So, yeah, Shiba Inu is the talk of the town right now. And uh, some other stuff is coming out right now. This is huge, guys. You guys got to get ready because right now we got a huge announcement from Binance. And Binance is set to implement the BEP95 Bruno upgrade in 12 hours, guys. And BNB will soon be burned with every transaction. So when that happens, you can expect that BNB is going to go to the moon right now. So, you know, what I remember, this is not financial advice, but I have definitely bought some more BNB right now in this zone. Because I think that when the, you know, the Bruno upgrades, the BEP95 upgrade comes, we're going to see, absolutely, we're going to see the price probably go up to about 700 bucks, guys. That's what I'm thinking. That's Remember, that's not financial advice. This is just my opinion. This is 100% my opinion in the house, guys. Uh, some other news that's coming in. We're seeing that Korean Shinhan Bank to test new uh, stablecoin for proof of concept uh, on the Hendra network. So you're probably going to see the uh, Hendra hashtag network probably is going to go up because it looks like that uh, the you know the Koreans they want to build their stablecoin on the Hendra hashtag network. So Hendra is probably going to be going up, 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 guys. So that's a really good news, guys. Uh, if you're holding Hendra right now, so you can probably see a huge pump coming up for for Hendra right now. So let's take a look at the Hendra price in the house right now. 
So you can see after this announcement, you can see that uh, the Hendera hashtag hashgraph group. We can see that they've got, you know they pumped up about uh, 9.66 percent. So that's pretty good. And uh, over 90 days, are up 39 percent. So we're probably going to see some more pumpage coming. And probably by the end of uh, by tomorrow, we could see this probably going up to about 12 or 13 uh, percent. So that's pretty good in the house, guys. So that's pretty good. If you're holding Hendra hashtag, you got a bit of a pump today. So that's pretty bullish news overall, guys. So let's take a look at Solana right now. And Solana claims that one, traction, one transaction on its network uses less energy than two Google searches. So that's pretty cool. And that's why a lot of people are aping into Solana. That's why they're using Solana's decentralized exchange right now because the fees are super duper low. And, uh, you know, because if you're using a Uniswap, you know, ERC and Ethereum based uh, tokens to do... Uh, you know any uh, any dexes guys it's going to cost you a ton of money we're talking the fees are insane in the membrane guys so that's why i'm i use bsc to uh swap floki remember you know the the uh, pancake swap i uh, go back and watch that video guys and that shows you how to pick up uh, uh floki guys so every week every uh, weekend i'm going to be uh, doing a tutorial video next week i'm going to be uh, doing a tutorial video on hardware wallets and you know how you move your crypto from exchanges to hardware wallets and that kind of stuff so we're going to be taking a look at that so that should be pretty cool beans in the house guys so let's take a look at the doji woji right now so doji in the house is you know it's forming a very similar pattern as to what uh uh, what Shiba Inu is doing and you can see that both these uh, uh, meme coins are m mimicking each other so that's kind of interesting how these patterns are you know Shiba Inu had this whole descending triangle uh, Doge had that and we're seeing that you know uh, Dogecoin has broken out uh, here once twice three times got rejected got rejected on those times we did confirm a breakout here but only to get uh, slightly rejected and then here rejected again but it looks like a Shiba Inu and uh, Dogecoin are following pretty similar patterns in the house and Dogecoin right now is trading at 21 cents it was at 22 cents but got rejected uh, and we're seeing something very similar to uh, to uh, Shiba Inu uh, in terms of this whole descending triangle and the rejections along the downside but here we see this seeing that Shiba Inu did break out and that was because of the uh, Kraken news and you know right now for uh, for uh, Dogecoin there's been real no catalyst there's been real no huge news that's uh, pushed Dogecoin up and what we're seeing right now this is all organic growth so if something happens if we get some really interesting news uh, you know major retailer accepting it but you know this new egg that uh, you know Shiba Inu has just been accepted as payment vis-a-vis -vis BitPay uh, you know you guys probably don't remember but uh, you know Dogecoin has been part of that ecosystem for a long time guys so you know that's why Dogecoin is really not moving in the houses because there is no news guys and i don't think we're going to see any really big news for dogecoin not until q1 q2 next year so any of the price uh, any of the price growth that you're seeing now is because of bitcoin guys 100 uh, because of bitcoin it's all pretty organic guys so let's take a look at bitcoin in the house right now so bitcoin right now is trading at uh, 56,768 in the house right now and uh so you know we've got to five days and 15 hours left on this weekly candle so we've had you know one two three and then we're entering our fourth and we haven't seen for a very long time where we've had uh, you know one two three weekly candles we have not seen that in a very very long time we're still above the 21 day ema so it's still still bullish out there but you know it's getting into the danger zone you know we can see here that we had one two weeks here we had two weeks uh one two weeks two weeks uh one two uh weeks here so we have not seen in a very long time three weeks we did see back in november uh 2019 where we had you know one two three four five weeks uh one two so we haven't seen three weeks in a row so hopefully we can get some reversal in the house and this will take a uh, bitcoin higher and higher so if you look at bitcoin the four hour much the same uh, you know we're down right now about uh, about uh, two percent on on this daily candle right now. So hopefully we can get some reversal and it's just uh, at fifty six thousand seven hundred. So this is the last day of the month. So hopefully we can get a turnaround and hopefully we can at least close uh, at least at fifty seven thousand. So I'm not too I'm not too I'm not too hopeful of that. I think we could be going down. As I said, we've got the uh, pre markets are looking pretty bad. So you're probably going to expect that uh, the whole crypto space is going down. But right now we're seeing that Ethereum is defying the odds and is actually outperforming Bitcoin right now. 
and Ethereum is at $4,439. $4, so it's above the 4,400 level. It's following my up, 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 uh, uptrend like this. So this is pretty good, guys. We kind of have this, we had kind of had a W pattern here that formed here and here, and we broke out to the upside exactly as predicted. And then this looks like we're painting a bit of a bull flag pattern here. So if this continues, we could see probably an upside to about $4,600 pretty soon. So keep keep an eye on that, keep tuning that, but I'm very happy about what we're seeing for uh, Doge, uh, for uh, Ethereum and us. Get your words right, guys, get your words right. I just come back from the beach, so I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit tired, a little bit tired. So we're seeing that sand right now is not looking too good. It's uh, broken down in this direction. Then we had this whole descending triangle. We did break out to the upside, but it looks like we're getting rejected again. So based on this trend, we could see ourselves going down to this area, probably down to about six uh, $6 and 14 cents, or even we could even uh, retest uh, six dollars in the house right here because we've we've hit their resource so this is some support here so we could see ourselves going down to six dollars if we're not careful and then once we get to six dollars we could see ourselves breaking out with some ferocity and some some fierce upside movement and that could take us back up to eight dollars guys so keep an eye on that i'm i'm putting in a buy order around about uh, six dollars right now we could see that sand uh, could break down to six dollars so i'm putting a buy order at six dollars remember this is not financial advice it's just an og in the house expressing his opinion his opinion only guys and let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at uh, Solana in the house. Solana is also doing uh, pretty much the same thing. It's it's basically it went up, it got rejected, uh, it got rejected here at the uh, two uh, two two hundred and three level, and right now it's at two hundred one. So probably if uh, we continue on the upside, then we could see ourselves going back up to two ten. If not, most probably you're going to see uh, Solana break down probably in this direction. It's probably going to break down in this direction and find some support around about 191. So that's probably where we're going to find some support, probably in this area more more than likely. That's probably the case. Remember, TA only works until it doesn't. Uh, this has become uh, this has become uh, you know resistance now. I think we'll find some support around this area. That's what I'm going to think, and that's going to invalidate this as well. So that's not looking good. So I'm going to take that out of there. And it looks like we're forming this descending triangle, and that's probably going to descend all the way into this area here. And then we'll find some support, as I said, at uh, around about $191 in the house. And then we should uh, retest and bounce up the upside because that's where I see it. So let's take a look at the let's take a look at the market cap in the house right now. So the market cap is at 2.66 trillion, and the volume's at 98.8 a billion. And the Bitcoin dollars is coming down, so it's at 40 guys. So that's looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the coins in the house. Let me get my face out of the way. And right now we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is at 56,743, and that's down 0.33%. And uh, we're seeing that Ethereum right now is up 3.2%, so it's outperforming Bitcoin, so that's good news. And it's at $4,435. We're seeing BNB is at uh, $616, and that's uh, up about 1.23%. Uh, so when we have that new Bruno upgrade and they start burning more BNB, you're going to see uh, BNB probably start to explode. I think we could easily see $700 coming in the next uh, 48 hours. Uh, remember, that's just uh, the way I'm calling it. Uh, I think it could happen, guys. ADA right now is down, is up slightly. It's 157. Like I said, so most of my ADA. Solana is just holding on to the $200 level. I think, like I said, we're probably going to break down to the $191 level and then bounce up from there. And we're down uh, about uh, just over half a percent. We're seeing that DOT right now is uh, coming up by 1%, but it's still... It's still, you know, range bound between like 30, 34 bucks and 36 bucks. So it's pretty much range bound. And uh, like I said, there it just went down. We're seeing Shiba Inu has just flipped the Doge right now in terms of market cap. And Shiba Inu is at 29.2 billion and uh, Doge at 28.8. And we're seeing that, you know, the reason that we're seeing uh, Shiba hitting 50 is because we saw the uh, Kraken listing and that's been the real catalyst. But I think you're going to start to see uh, people taking some profits and we're probably going to see Shiba Inu go down and probably going to retest this area right here, guys. So we're probably going to see Shiba Inu retest this area. Let me get my chart, my chart, my chart. So it's right here. We're probably going to see ourselves going down back down to 33 in the house, guys. But let's see if we can break, if we can actually break above the 53 level and confirm that for at least four or five hours, 
Then we have a shot of moving up and this becoming support. So it's kind of 50-50 right now, 50-50 in terms of which way we're going to go. And I'll just be brutally honest with you. We're seeing Avalanche is up right now. It's up 7.82% and that's 119. And we're seeing a bit of a mixed bag. We're seeing some of the top uh, old coins pumping right now. Luna's up. CRO is down, guys. It's 60. It's at 68 cents, and that's uh, you know it's down 6.6 percent. .6%. So LTC is up. So it's a pretty mixed bag overall, guys. As I said, the pre-markets are, are not looking good right now. So it's probably going to be a, a negative day. We could see ourselves going down about one or two percent overall. And then hopefully that when we uh, wake up tomorrow, the uh, people here in Asia we can take it higher and higher, guys. So I hope you guys like this video in the house, guys. It's a great time. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Follow, follow, follow follow on twitter go down there smash the likes subscribe eyb in the house guys subscribe in the house subscribe in the house guys don't forget to comment and uh, don't forget to follow all the links in the video go to the bottom of the description become a patreon member buy the channel a coffee you know you want to get it and guys and gals do not forget to uh check out the weefy wifey's channel you want it i want it make the wife happy hit that subscription button you know you want it guys get it get it get it in the house guys and once again the markets are turning. December is going to be huge. You're going to be huge. Smash the likes. Subscribe. Spread the good vibes. Spread some love. Spread some joy. And enjoy life, guys. Spend life till its fullest. Make every second count. Love your neighbors. Love your wife. Just love everybody, guys. Fantastic. I'll see you. Woo! This is Ric Flair of Crypto in the house. I'll see you, guys. And look, just look at my view, guys. Take a look at my view, guys. It's an absolute great time to be alive. Look where I am, guys. I'm enjoying it. You should be enjoying it. It's a great time, guys. Just look at where I am. Guys, look at the beach, guys. Look at it. You know, today's a bit unsettled. We got mountains, we got beach, we got we got buildings, we got everything. Look how long this beach is. It goes from miles and miles. It's one of the longest beaches, I think, in the world, actually. It goes for miles, guys. So, once again, God bless you all. I'll see you in the next one. Woo!